So today I'm talking about a P062F code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P062F code? Well, it's an internal control module EEPROM error. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have computers inside of them called modules. There can be an engine control module. There could be a powertrain control module. And there's a type of memory that can be written to, and then it stores programs called EEPROM. And this can hold the programming for the computer module and different things like this. And for some reason, the control module is seeing a problem with this. It's not able to read this memory. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And so what are some possible causes of a P062F code? Well, the first thing that can cause this, and a very common cause, is going to be a bad battery or bad battery connections. So all these computer modules need a good, stable power supply, or else it's going to cause issues with them. And they'll throw out different types of errors if they're not getting a stable power supply. And so for this reason, go check out the battery. Be sure that's good. Also check out all the connections, mainly the battery terminals. If they get all corroded and things like this, they're not making a good contact. That can cause problems. So be sure the battery's good and that you got good connections. If you have a multimeter, you can also check the alternator output and be sure that it's working correctly. You have to look up what your alternator rated output is since there can't be some differences. But usually when the vehicle's running and the alternator's working, you should be getting like at least 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. If you're getting less than this or more than this, then there's an issue going on with the alternator and that would also cause problems. It can also be a good idea to check for any blown fuses, mainly any fuse labeled like ECM or ECU or PCM or something like that. But it is possible that a fuse blew and that one of those computer modules is not getting power. Another thing that could cause this issue sometimes is a bad ground wire going to the computer modules. These computer modules, they need a good power supply, but they also need a good ground, which is usually done the way the case is mounted on the metal or something like that. But sometimes the ground going to the case is not making a good contact, and so it's causing issues. If you have a jumper wire, you could jumper to the case and then jumper to a good ground and just see if the problem clears, because sometimes a bad ground wire can cause issues. And the last thing on the list is going to be that one of these computer modules has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. Quite often when one of these computer modules goes bad, they sometimes get burnt components on the board. This doesn't happen every time. Sometimes they can go bad and you don't see no burnt components. But it is common where they actually get burnt spots on the board or one of those caps blow up or something like that. And so if you could just go around in these computer modules and just check to see if you smell any type of burnt smell going on. And if you do smell a burnt smell, you can't open them up and check to see if you do see any burnt spots. And like I said, these can't fail and there is no burnt spots. But if you do see a burnt spot, then you know for sure it failed. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P062F code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.